bam and bam. It's like right there. on the left, back, in the middle. For 4th of July, we had some of my cousins come over. Of course, Ivan had to bust out the grill. She made this tantalizing pork barbecue and this spiced vinegar to go along with it. Ahi tuna skewers and grilled eggplant. So good with this shrimp paste, which is bago ong and onions and tomato. Everything was just so tasty, especially those veggies on the grill. Everyone came over a little bit later, so we had time to sneak in round one. Ivane found this random pork belly in the freezer, so she defrosted it, marinated it for an hour, and she put it on the grill. Everyone thinks I'm lying, but this pork belly is solely the reason why I agreed to marry her. She's cool with it though. My cousin brought these over and I hadn't had some in like 10 years. I keep a 16 ounce of water by the bed, so first thing I do when I wake up is hydrate. Yes, every single morning, no matter where I am. Usually I'll drink this as I get ready for work, but on the days off, I just enjoy the process in bed while slowly waking up. I drink a little over 64 ounces of water daily, not including any of my teas. The next thing I toss back is my aloe vera juice with my vitamins, and since I do this every morning, there's no need to show you six more times, I'll just show it to you once. It was fairly early in the day, so I just had some strawberries before I went grocery shopping. Yes, standing. I had a taste for smoked salmon and avocado toast, so for brunch, I just made a smoked salmon avocado toast. Toasting sourdough like this on a pan is my favorite. This avocado was pretty sad, but I still wanted to use it, so I just used half, added some olive oil, lemon juice, onion and garlic powder, and some sriracha. Smoked salmon from Costco. Crushed red pepper. Avocado toast is so simple to make at home, and what's cool is you can customize it to your taste. The bread is so good, I just can't get over it. He loves cucumber. I drank some more of that coffee I bought earlier. I can't drink it all in one sitting because if I do, it makes me feel like I'm gonna punch a wall. About an hour and a half later, I had some green tea. This one is my favorite. Lunch was pretty simple. I just took a minute to saute some shrimp added some QP mayo and spicy chili crisp, added some cucumber, broccoli, nori, and avocado with white rice in a bowl, and topped it with these crispy fried shallots. I added some green onion as well, and for dessert I had some mochi with red bean. For breakfast I wanted to have a huge veggie omelet. We had a lot of mushrooms left over from the barbecue the other day, so I wanted to use that. I just used two eggs for this omelet, Lots of spinach. Oh. Oh, he doesn't want to go. There you go. Onion powder and garlic powder. Added some fresh basil from the garden. And I topped the omelet with half of the avocado from yesterday. Pretty simple. I'm just trying to get the perfect bite with a little bit of everything. There we go. I really need to make omelets way more often. And finally finishing the last of that coffee, it's really powerful. Lunch was super easy. I just toasted some sourdough on a pan, steamed some broccoli, and had it with these sardines. I just wanted something quick and light, and I decided to use this bitchin' sauce on the broccoli. I usually eat it plain, but it was a really good addition. 
I also had it with a side of green tea and for dessert I had half of that vegan brownie because they're actually pretty huge. For dinner I wanted some pasta so here we go. I just sauteed some spinach and garlic on a pan, made some fusilli, added some coconut cream and I keep it in a mason jar so it stays pretty fresh. Added some butter, stir that around a little bit, added the cooked pasta and finally added the star of the show, some spicy chili crisp. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want and I had some steamed zucchini and broccoli on the side. This was super quick. Yum! This definitely fulfilled my desire of wanting pasta for dinner. So I decided to wind down this evening with a movie night. Oh! <laughs> with a movie night. And guess who decided to join us for this movie night? Me and Ivan will do this sometimes while she's over the road. We'll watch the same movie but be on a video call together. It helps us get in some quality time even though she's away. This breakfast smoothie for work was strawberries, spinach, frozen banana, hemp seed, black seed, chlorophyll, and this blueberry cashew milk probiotic yogurt. I made this the night before and I know it looks pretty gross because of the color, but it's actually pretty tasty. For my work lunch, I packed a salad again the night before. I also packed my DJ lemon dressing in a mason jar and I can have this video pop up so you can click it just to see how to make it. It's really easy. I wanted some Kalamata olives too and in a little baggie I put some of these mushroom snacks, hemp seed, and nutritional yeast as my salad toppings. Packed a side of veggies and had some macadamia nuts and brazil nuts as a snack. Everything fits in this huge insulated backpack that I have. I always have my lunch in my car so I'm comfy and I'm able to just enjoy. Raise your hand if you eat salad with chopsticks. Am I the only one? And of course I spill on myself. When I got home I felt like snacking on some more chips so I just had some. For dinner I decided to cut up this cucumber and have it as a side and I wanted to make some kimchi udon. So this is the kimchi that we use. It has extra fish sauce. Fry it up in the pan and on the side I was just heating some water for the udon. I added these fish balls to the kimchi. These are our favorite and we find them at H Mart. The frozen udon just takes a second to cook and as soon as they're done I just added them to the kimchi fish ball mix and added some coconut aminos, some sesame oil, some agave and mixed that all together. You can definitely add some heavy cream if you want it to be more decadent like I did over here. But today I just wanted it like this. Added some nori rice seasoning on top as well as some nori sheets, that fried egg, crispy shallot, crispy garlic, and sriracha and green onion. This kimchi udon is so yummy and indulgent. You can really add anything you want on here. You could even add chicken or shrimp. Ugh, oh, that egg. And welcome to my tea drawer. In this tea drawer, we have blueberry chamomile, chamomile, some Four Sigmatic tonic. So we have like mushroom elixir mix with lion's mane. Other one has cordyceps. I have my favorite yogi green tea, peppermint tea, lemon ginger tea, dandelion. Mushroom coffee with lion's mane and chaga. We have here some instant milk tea. This one is taro. Thai tea, instant Thai tea. And I think we have more back in the drawer. And then this random vitamin C emergency pack. And it looks like it's been through World War III. But yeah, we're going to do peppermint today. But yeah, we're going to do peppermint tonight. Most nights I end the night with some tea, so I thought I'd share. So Thursday's work breakfast was this chia seed pudding. Chia seed, goji berries, cacao nibs, Ceylon cinnamon, agave, and oat milk in a mason jar. Put them all together 
and you want to mix it up really really well. You're going to make this overnight as well. And I added some fresh strawberries. I actually made two so I can have the other one later in the week and this is totally customizable. Okay pause. There has been a new development since I filmed this what I eat in a week and if you put ground flax seed and cacao powder in this chia seed pudding, it tastes like champarado. I repeat, put ground flax seed and cacao powder, it tastes like champarado. Okay, bye. Brazil nuts and walnuts was my work snack. For my work lunch, I made this chickpea salad, vegan mayo, lemon juice, sriracha, onion powder, garlic powder, and some green pepper since I didn't have celery. Mixed that all together and I had this on top of some rice cakes. Also packed a side of steamed broccoli with this lunch. Guess what we're having for dinner? Thingy. It's blocking you guys. Isn't she cute? I gotta put her down here. Okay. She who? Okay, we're home now. Getting comfy. Oh, by the way, Ivan is in Georgia right now. So let me tell you guys how gross me and Ivan are, okay? Get your barf bags ready. We are so gross and so crazy that when we're apart from each other, we tend to crave each other's favorite food. Favorite food or preferred food, even though that's not necessarily our personal favorite food. For example, Ivane has been watching this anime called Initial D. It's about racing. And she said during the commercial, a McDonald's commercial came on and a quarter pounder popped up on the screen. So she immediately started craving it. So that is what she had for lunch. Ivane never orders quarter pounders, but she ordered it because she missed me. Do any of you guys do that? Let me know. <gasps> Chips! Sorry, it's our outside cat. I just got a six piece chicky. Hmm, maybe I could do mukbangs more in this car. Like in my driveway. Oh, this is so embarrassing. My neighbor. Fuck. Please don't park right there. Please don't park right there, yo. Dude, man. What are you gonna do? Fucking. I swear, it's not as busy in this little neighborhood as it is right now. Oh, nothing. Just casually eating in the car with a camera in front of me. Mm. So good, though. Please go away soon. Mm. I just thought we'd switch up the scenery, you know? I've been eating in the dining room or standing in the kitchen. I guess I'm getting a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera. But it's kind of hard. It's kind of awkward, too. And even as like a drama club kid, like I was always rehearsing lines by myself. It's still kind of weird talking to the camera by yourself. <laughs> so it's Thursday night. Ivane was supposed to be home either tonight or tomorrow night, but she's had a couple of delays or reroutes on her trip this week. Also, it had to do with the tropical storm. So she should be home instead of Friday night, which is tomorrow night. She should be home Saturday morning or afternoon. So I miss her. And that's fine though, you know, as long as she gets home safely, that's all I care about. And that's all that's important. Are you for real? Never leaving the house again. Mmm, that was really yummy. Let's clean up this car. Look at my little sockies. These are from my great niece. Friday morning, I wasn't feeling too hungry, so I took to work this probiotic yogurt. There was like half the bottle left. Some nectarines and of course some nuts. Okay, so I just got out of work. I stopped by to get this iced caramel macchiato with light ice and oat milk and sugar-free vanilla because it is Friday and it is my birthday month and it's my weekend off. So I treated myself to a little coffee. Yep. Just thought I'd take a moment to show you these cuties and yes, they act like this every single day. Peanut is so hyper and Mineka is just like whatevs. It is Friday night and to get rid of all the veggies that are left in the fridge, I decided to make a veggie chepche. So I just cut up all the veggies. Oh, there's Ivane. She's in Tennessee eating some barbecue. <laughs> 
Um, I just sauteed the veggies with some olive oil. And yes, I'm eating a vegan brownie while cooking dinner. Cooked the noodles and added some sesame oil, some coconut aminos, and this mushroom seasoning. Tossed it all together, and there you have it, veggie chapje. I just sprinkled some sesame seeds on top, and I honestly didn't even sit down to eat. It was so good, I just ate over the stove with some chopsticks. Lulu also loved it, and I packed the rest so I can have some when she comes home. So how do you guys wind down? I love turning the bedroom into a chill only zone. I light up my favorite candles, put on the oil diffuser, I love this star projector that makes our bedroom look like a galaxy. My best friend Moo had one. It was just so nice and relaxing to lay under, so I had to get one. <laughs> My shadow looks creepy. I also love putting on YouTube some different sounds to chill to. Lately it's been some type of rainy sounds and jazz in a coffee shop. So that's been the playlist, and I think I'm just going to go with this one tonight. And of course, my tea. While that water is heating up, I'm just taking a few minutes to update my daily goals list, habit stacking calendar, and my budget. And it appears as if this ambiance already knocked someone out. I've been into this super heinous book lately, but this evening I decided to switch it up and start this new book. Breakfast was just some aloe vera juice and some chia seed pudding while people watching by the window. I also took some time to finish recording this audiobook that I'm making for Ivain. Her big black button eyes stared into Coraline's hazel eyes. It's pretty cool because I just record it on this app that we have and she gets it wherever she's at. It's also really cool because I can share one of my favorite books with her while at the same time rereading one of my favorite books. And she loves it because it makes her driving time pass by really fast and it makes her feel close to me. Plus I can go off on a tangent while doing my own narrations, it makes it pretty funny. Ivan was almost home so I did prepare her brunch for her, which was this coffee in her favorite mug and that leftover veggie chapche I made yesterday. So great to have her home, especially on the weekends we both have off. <laughs> we spent the rest of the afternoon chilling while Ivane worked on her bike and I was editing this vid. But then she found out she didn't have the right part so we had to go and get it. And we got ourselves a coffee treat on the way home. Hey, lucky day. <laughs> have a good day. Oh, that is delicious. Mmm! Mm? <laughs> you got a little milk mustache. I do? Yeah. Where? Oh, um, did I get it? Mm-hmm. Here we grilled while Ivane showed me this anime called Initial D that she's been into. We grilled some veggies and kielbasa. Oh yeah, babe. Mm. And the star of the show, the halloumi. <laughs> yeah.
Also brought out some watermelon, hummus, tzatziki, kalamata olives, and I toasted some sourdough in a pan. Dinner was amazing and so chill. And finally, since she was home, we were able to finally try that ubi ice cream I found at Trader Joe's on Monday. Mmm, mm. that's pretty good. Sunday morning breakfast was just watermelon and aloe vera juice because this rainy morning we had to go and do something pretty fun. And bam, it's like, right there. Yeah. It's right there. Well, it's gonna be awesome. Let's get coffee. Bye. 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 To celebrate this moment, we decided to have a coffee date. Found peanut. It was still quite rainy and gloomy out, so this was pretty much a perfect way to spend our Sunday morning. We've reached our last meal of the video, and it is Taco Bell. We went over my cousin's house this evening, and they requested Taco Bell, so that's exactly what we had. While eating, Ivane found this crazy ass hot sauce that my cousin had, so of course she had to try it and she wanted to take me with her. I'm like trying to avoid the sauce. Hmm. I could imagine though if you eat it with the wings. Mm -hmm. It's on the left back. It's, it's in the middle. Whose waters is this? These? Do you want some? Yeah, well that one's not open. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I taste it now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I put it's so delayed. much. It's <laughs> delayed. Mm -hmm. We have, we mm -hmm. have oat milk. Sure. Oh good, yeah. Samyang, it's burning, but this one is like, it feels like my tongue is getting stabbed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want some cheesecake? You like cheesecake? Oh no, thank you. How oh, good? Oh yeah. You warned me a little bit too. Can much. I get a bite too? Hope you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Week video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more bites coming your way.